Thank you. We're here at the East Coast Black Age of Comics at Temple University with Professor uh, William Foster. Can you tell us about some of the literature that you've uh, authored and that you brought with us today? Well, only because I was traveling light, I bought uh, several of the books I had published before. This first one here is a collection of poetry. May the words of my mouth. This is another collection of poetry specific to Philadelphia. It's called West Philly, W-E-S. Talking about growing up here. This is a graphic novel, kind of like what they used to call a ash can version, that features a Native American here and an African American and a team, superhero team. Very rare. And my research has said there's never been one before. So I was excited. And the guy who helped me put this together is also Native American, so we got a big kick out of beauty from this. This book is one I put together for an exhibit for my college in Connecticut when I was there. And it basically is photographs of African Americans serving through every theater of war and during World War II. Her uncle, the woman who gave me this collection to make something out of it, and her father were hired by a government agency to go all around the world and take photographs. And this is the only one I've ever seen. It's amazing. They even had photographs of the women who were in the nail department who throughout the war never lost a letter. An unbelievable record. And went unnoticed in, you know, in terms of the ganos of history for a long time. I think they only got their recognition a couple of years ago. That's just like from the 1940s. So that was something I was very felt proud to turn into an exhibit at my college and then turn to a book that I could sell and let people know what we were uh, done about. This kills me because it shows people pictures of people, African Americans, in the Pacific Theater of War, which I had never seen, you know, and they're all doing their job. So the idea is that that's what ECPOC does, reaches the places probably had never been reached before. Okay. We are here at the East Coast Black Age of Comics speaking to uh, Professor William Foster. We got two more questions for you. Uh, question number one of the two is, we know you're a foremost scholar on uh, black comics from the past. Are there any comics by creators today that you're excited about? How much time you got? Uh, I have yet to see a book that I haven't found interesting, you know, particularly with the story that starts off very, very quietly and just expands the scope of it. Almost like the Superman legend. Superman comes from another planet, but he lands on a farm, and over time he discovers he has powers far more than people around him. That's a forever story. I used to kid my students in college about it. I said, I'm going to tell you some, a particular of a story, you tell me what story it is. A kid is raised with parents in a very poor circumstance for people like him. His parents send him away, and where he goes, he discovers he has great powers and wants to help everybody. What's the story? Now, you got two possible answers. One is Superman. The other is Moses. And I said, had you never thought about that? Now look at comic books from a new set of eyes. Wow. Amazing, amazing. This is our last question. If people want to get more information about um, William, William Foster or uh, ask your expert opinion about something, how can they get in contact with you? Uh, they're easy enough to find me. If you go on Facebook, you'll find my name. And uh, if I'm not the right William Foster, keep trying. I'm only, I'm only one of a few as far as I can tell. And give me a plea to get back to you, and it'll be my absolute pleasure. Because if I wasn't passing the knowledge, what would I be doing sitting here? That's wrong. Okay. Some people want to hold it like you know a devil holding a penny to keep it out of your hands. Me, the more treasure I sell or share, the more treasure there is. Thank you so much.